Hello and welcome. Basically, this is just a short video that fills in the gap between where I was at Nabenlock to York. But also, there's some hopefully helpful advice on fuel and fuel duty and the complicated issues surrounding that. So we're just here at Neyburn Locks. Um, there's loads of moorings around here for visitors and there's a fantastic site, there's a weir that's uh, apparently there's salmon sort of swimming around and uh, I just had the best shower, I mean facilities here up north so much better than they are down south in, in many ways and I think that's that's in part to um, all the boats up here that perhaps don't have showers anyway although I've enjoyed my stay here it is only 48 hours there's no shops or transport links around here so I've got to carry on now to York and uh, seek out a mooring there <laughs> Just been to pick up some gas and some diesel at uh, this marina here, York Marina, and um, it has been quite expensive. Twenty-eight pounds for gas. That's just thirteen kilos of gas. Six pound for a bag of logs, and then one twenty-four per litre. Well, here, here's how it works. So diesel, you make a, a declaration of what you're going to split it between either propulsion or domestic heating. Because I haven't got a diesel heater on board, I haven't really got a leg to stand on, especially if someone watches these videos and they think, right, we're going we're gonna to have a look into this guy. So I went time with all propulsion, it was 124 a litre. So that, that was 60, 67 litres, works out about... 83 quid and that's been for the last four months of cruising around because I don't use my engine for power anyway so so I feel a bit like I've been stiffed but at least if anyone watches these videos they won't be able to do me for uh, tax evasion or something some receipts in front of me and I've picked out a couple um, that actually explain it a little bit more and one of them's a bit bit funny because one of them says a hundred percent heating so that would be me just sat in one area using the fuel to generate power and heat diesel hundred percent heating 30 litres 20 pounds 70 this was quite a big bill because I got loads of stuff like gas and um, a, pu a pump out as well. So the whole receipt here is about 126 pounds and 10 p. But so within that, I've got diesel at 40 percent dutiable, which means 40 percent um, you sort of pay the full whack on, and that was 89 p a litre. Looking back on my receipts, it seems like I pay 50 to. 80 pounds generally every time I fuel up uh, and that seems to be only every th every three months I'd say so four times a year four times 80 quid 320 pounds a year on diesel that's not bad is it
right, that's it for this little interlude uh, within the journey of the main stream of vlogs. I hope you found the information on diesel interesting. Anyway, I'll see you on the next proper vlog, but for now, over and out.